The bigger they are, the harder they will fall. The bigger they are, the harder they will fall. So yesterday, God placed that. The Holy Spirit dropped that into my spirit. The bigger they are, the harder they will fall. So are, who is they? The bigger they are. The Holy Spirit is referring to the battles in your life, the the blockages that have been placed on your life by the enemy. And they look like giants, like these obstacles appear to be so big. And the bigger they are, I'm here to tell you, the harder they're going to fall. So I started immediately thinking about the story of David and Goliath. So, um, of course, David was so much smaller than Goliath. And the only thing that David had to defeat Goliath was a little bitty stone. And he was able to beat Goliath with that little bitty stone. And of course, because he had God with him, God was by his side. So you have giants in your life. You have obstacles, obstacles that have been placed in your life by the enemy. And you have the equipment to fight these enemies, these obstacles, these giants. And the good news is, it's prayer. I'm here to tell you what it is, what you're going to use. What you're going to use to make these giants come crashing down. Let me tell you, a scripture that I came across that God led me to maybe a week ago was Matthew. It's in Matthew. It is Matthew 26, 53. Okay? So, um, Matthew 26 um, and 53 says... This is Jesus speaking to, he's speaking to uh, one of his disciples. Okay, so a little backstory. Um, this is the part in Matthew where, um, like the chief priests and elders of the city, um, they were coming to, um, they were coming to 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 take Jesus away so that you know he could be, you know, crucified so they could, um, you know, really just mock him and, and betray him and crucify him um, because Judas turned on Jesus and you know he let the chief priests and elders know where Jesus was so when they came to take Jesus away one of the men that were with Jesus one of his disciples took out a sword and cut off the ear of one of the chief priests but Jesus said to him, put your sword in its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. And here's verse 53. Or do you think that I cannot now pray to my father, and he will provide me with more than 12 legions of angels? How then could the scriptures be fulfilled that it must happen thus? So what you're going through is supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen so that God's des the destiny and the word that God has placed on your life can be fulfilled. But you're not going to fight physically. You're going to fight spiritually. Do you not know that you can call on to God right now, today, and he will send his mighty angels to fight for you? All you have to do is use the God-given authority that he has placed within you. The bigger they are, the harder they're going to fall. And they're going to fall because you have God backing you up. You have God behind you. You have Jesus walking with you. Do you not know that all you have to do is call unto your father? And he will send 12 legions of angels. He will send an army of angels to fight on your behalf. 
the bigger they are, the harder they're going to fall. The bigger your giant is, the bigger your testimony will be. And God's, God's word for your life over your life will be fulfilled. It will be fulfilled. Your testimony is going to be so great. The bigger your obstacles are, the bigger your blockages are, the harder they're going to come crashing down. God just needs you to fight like David did, but you're not going to use a stone. You're going to use prayer. You're going to pray to your father. Ask him for the help that you need. Ask him to send those angels to fight on your behalf. Just like Exodus 14, 14, you can call unto God. And look, all you have to do is hold your peace. God will fight for you. Hold your peace. Pray. Pray. And be at peace because God is going to fight for you. He just needs you to use your tools. He wants you to call out to him so that he can send the help that you need. The bigger the battle is, the bigger the obstacle is, the bigger that blockage is in your life, the harder it's going to come crashing down. If God is going to use your life as a living testimony, Just use your tool. The biggest, you have the biggest tool. You have the only tool. You have the greatest tool. You have the ability to, to, to speak, decree, and declare a thing. You have the ability to call out to your father and he will send help your way. And I'm here today to speak life into you, to give you that strength to get up, to call unto your father. And I speak and I decree and I, and I declare that every obstacle, every giant in your life has to come crashing down in the mighty name of Jesus. And I'm here today to call out to God. I'm here to call out to God. We pray and we seek you, Lord, for strength, for strength just to get on our knees to call out to you. Just to be driving down the road to work and call out to you. Just to be sitting down at work and call out to you. Just to, just to be somewhere just eating and we call out to you. Just to be anywhere, Lord, anywhere, and we call out to you. And we seek you, Lord. And we pray for that help that we need to take down any obstacle, any battle, any giant that has been placed in our life by the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And so, I just wanted to come on, jump on, get that message out because God, the Holy Spirit, just placed that on my heart um, yesterday. And he had been giving me um, little bits and pieces all day today. The bigger they are, the harder they're going to fall. Until the next video, I love y'all. Bye-bye.